Hello everybody, this is JD, yes I'm JD, see the one and only. Today you're seeing me in my ties hat, ball cap. For you people who live average everyday American life, sweatshirt and um, yeah. This ain't a dog and pony show. Sometimes I'll be dressed up, sometimes I'll be dressed, dressed. But what is this really about? I been really looking at all this stuff that's in the news about Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton. And then you all out there advertise it over and over again. Gosh, she's getting all kinds of free advertisement, free publicity, free interviews from each and every one of you. Yes, I will admit Hillary Clinton is the best Democratic candidate for 2016 that the Democrat Party could come up with. She has the possibilities about able to beat out almost any Republican in existence. So yes, she is the best that the Democrats have to offer you. It's not saying much for either political party, is it? When you sit down and you think about it for a few minutes, Hillary Clinton is the best that the two political parties combined of all their people have to offer you, the American people. And here's the sad part. How many of you out there are going to vote for her just because of her gender. Oh, it's about time to have a woman president. Well, couldn't you find a president that would be good for the country? You already voted on race once, on the color of a man's skin, not his abilities, and look what you got. Oh, it's about time we have a black man for president. Except for you forget that John Hansen, the very first president of the United States, could be, I'm not saying is, could be a man from Maryland whose mother came from Africa as a slave. And he was far superior to anything we have running from either political party. Far superior. Matter of fact, if John Hansen wasn't the first president of the United States, this very country might not exist today. He set up the executive office the way it's being run. He had nothing, and he set it up. But for you people who don't want to admit that there were seven more presidents before George Washington, that's fine. Continue your path of denial. They still had the title President of the United States of America. Whether it was the Confederate States of America, they were united. It was the United States of America. They were under the Articles of Confederation, not the Constitution. Big difference between the Articles and the Constitution, but not the office or the title. The difference between under the office and under the Articles is the president assumed powers that weren't granted. Whereas under the Constitution, the president has those executive powers that are granted. Some presidents know how to handle them. Some presidents just totally abuse them. You know who I'm talking about. He has no idea. But what is this video? This video is to show you JD. Another side of JD, no turtleneck, just a sweatshirt, suspenders holding up my jeans, a ball cap on my head, yes this is JD, see, and I do wear ball caps in the winter time, Actually, I don't have no hats, I don't like hats. So, what is this video all about? It's about truth. It's about what you see is what you get. 
It's about, yes, Hillary Clinton is the best candidate that the Democrat Party has for the presidential election of 2016. That doesn't mean she's going to run or not run, but she is the very best that they have to offer. That's what it means. And the Republicans, they're still fumbling around trying to find somebody. Thought they had somebody because he could give a line of bull and push people around. Found out he really does push people around. <laughs> people in this country don't like that. Then you have me just plain every day telling you that you are the ones that matter, telling you your voice is what should be heard, telling you you can make the difference. But yet, I hear too many times that's impossible, voters fraud, all that stuff. Well, that may be good excuses for not trying. But that's all it is, is not trying. Not good. It's not even good excuses because you don't try. The truth is, you all have a choice. To continue supporting the socialist ideals of political parties and socialism, in which both parties are all entangled with, or to go to the back to the Constitution. Now, don't expect everything to happen overnight when I become president. I'm not going to tell you it will. I expect long before I get everything straightened out, somebody will try to shoot me or something. That seems to be the way to eliminate people today. Watch the news. If you don't like them, shoot them. But then, you accomplish nothing. So what is it that I'm trying to tell you? The same thing I've been trying to tell you. You all have a choice. You all, with me, can fix this nation. You all can make a difference. But, unless you get out there, and instead of giving Hillary Clinton all this free advertisement, and the governor of New Jersey, Christie, all this free advertisement. Why don't you give some of this free advertisement you're spreading around to JD? Tell the world. You check me out, you see what you like, you don't like. Tell them what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell the world what you don't like. But quit advertising for the people you're crying about. If you look at my comments on Facebook, they put it pretty straight to you. Why are you all crying and complaining about the very things you do? As long as you support them, they will continue. And you will continue to get exactly what you ask for. So you people out there who are complaining about Hillary Clinton, all you're doing is telling the world about Hillary Clinton. You're advertising for her. You're letting her get free news. If everyone shut up about Hillary Clinton and said nothing, she probably wouldn't run at all. Same thing with Christy. Who do you think, if we were to hit somebody on the street and asked, who's the governor of New Jersey? They'd probably say that caused the toll back up and bullies his way around. They'd probably give you his name, Christy. And what about, well, who was the one that neglected everything and allowed the embassy, the ambassador to Libya to be killed? And they tell you Hillary Clinton. They know. But then you say, well, who is the man who ran in 2008 that came in third? They had uh, over 8,790,000 votes that disappeared out of no to nowhere. Not a single one probably will tell you, J.D. And you cry, voter fraud. You don't hear me crying, voter fraud. And you say, well, that's going to happen again in 2016. Not if all of you, all of you band together. Not if all of you, and I mean all of you, voted together. Because it'd be too big 
of a landslide for them to ignore. But then, I don't expect that to happen. You're too much involved in your crying, your complaining, and you don't want to see there is a very good possibility that we, together, can make a great future for this country. No, you don't want to see that. You want to see things like Hillary Clinton is the best candidate from the Democrat Party for 2016, and that might be very well true, but then that's a pile of sorry candidates. And same thing with Christie. So, this is basically a simple, truthful few minutes time with you, the American people, and for you to think about what is it you want in this country? What is it that you think should be? And what is it that you expect from the federal government? Not the political parties, you. That is the questions. Okay? You have a good night. This is JD. Take care. And think about that. Yes, Hillary Clinton probably is the best candidate that the Democrat Party has for 2016. And that means it's a pile of sorry candidates. And Christie may be the best candidate from the Republican parties, and that's not much better, is it? But yet you have J.D. sitting right here, probably the very best candidate for you, the people, and it means you, the people, for that's the ones who matter. Thank you. Remember, don't vote Democrat, don't vote Republican, vote American. Examine your candidates. You choose. Don't let someone else tell you how to vote. You have a nice day. This is J.D.